This is a demonstration of masking on Filterstorm Neue. Let's begin by going to our Edit Tools, choosing Curves. I'm going to pull the curves down, uh, set them for the sky. I'm going to lose a lot of detail in the area beneath the sky, but that's okay because I'm going to tap on this brush icon here to enter masking. Masking lets me apply uh, and edit selectively to an image. The default tool is the brush. I just can tap and drag to brush on the image or I can tap to place the brush and drag along the outside of the rim if I want to see exactly where the brush is being applied. I can zoom out and the brush will cover a larger area of the image. And I can zoom in and it will cover a smaller area of the image. Now I'm going to go into the settings here and just clear the mask. And then tap here at the target icon for our color mask mode. What this lets us do is choose a color. Um, it'll be the color underneath the point you move around, um, and it will mask everything similar to that color. And there's a slider on the bottom. You can change the tolerance of, uh, of the effect all the way to everything on the screen. But I'm also not going to use this. I'm going to show off a third method of masking, which is gradients. This is the most like using uh, and uh, graduated ND filter. And just set the start and the end point, and it will mask out the sky like that. There's also circular gradients and different options for linear gradient. We'll just use the standard linear gradient. I can go ahead and check to apply that, and check again to apply the mask. And now if I want, I can adjust the curve again with the mask on this time. And if I wanted, I could go back to the mask and adjust it again, but I will just hit check to apply uh, that curve. Now at this point, I'm going to show off blending by going to the blur tool here. Now that delay is uh, converting this image or copying the image into CPU memory rather than GPU memory as the blurring function is done on the CPU. Um, and so this icon up here is uh, the blend, uh, blend Modes button. I tap that, and it gives me the list of Blend Modes. This default is the Overlay Blend Mode. Uh, overlay blurs make an image kind of vibrant and dreamy. Um, it's something I often like on landscape images. But there's a no number of options. I'm actually going to cancel this now. Um, and go back to my curves and do the rest of the image in the same way that I did the sky. So I'll set the contrast this time for the mountainous area and the valley. Uh, I'll go and I'll brush and I'll just use the brush this time to brush on the change. And I'll apply that. And one more time, I'll go into the curves. And this time I'm going to set for the foreground. Add a little contrast to the foreground. Let's see, something like that. And again, I'll just brush on the change. I'll apply that. And now, I'll just save the image. 